Hell Jumpers, Chapter 2, Part 2. Sorry to break up the reunion, but I'd like to be off this planet before the assholes upstairs burn this place down. Tyler cut in from the side. He's right. We already wiped the server. Better to be off planet ASAP. Mac agreed. Can you two keep up with us? Looking over at Twilight and Scoots. Twilight nodding with Scootaloo still attached to her. Good. I think there was a civilian hog parked upstairs. What? What's a hog? Scootaloo carefully asked, still not trusting the creatures that had already heard her. But since Twilight trusted them, they couldn't be that bad, right? Lucy was the first to respond to Scootaloo's question. Say, kid, do you like speed? A massive grin forming on her face. Initially, when the engine had started, both Twilight and Scootaloo had been severely startled, but from the moment the Warthog had driven off from the facility, Scootaloo's fear had been quickly fading to the point that she was now having the time of her life. Lucy had been pushing the vehicle to its limits. This is awesome! Scootaloo had been shouting similar lines through the ride. On the other hoof, Twilight had been holding on for dear life and shouting at Lucy to slow down, before they crashed into something while the others just laughed at how both ponies were taking Lucy's driving style. Mac reached for his radio, pressing a string of buttons, and started transmitting. Stalwart Dawn, this is Alpha 3, do you copy? A few moments passed before the radio crackled to life again. Alpha 3, this is Stalwart Dawn. What's your status, Sergeant? We're green, Dawn. Mission accomplished. We're in need of a pickup. Currently heading south on the main motorway. Affirmative, Alpha 3. Uploading a waypoint to your visor. And do you have any word on Alpha 4, Sergeant? Destroyed, sir. Landed in the middle of a hot zone. Casualties complete. I'm sorry, sir. Damn! Few good men in those squads. I'll see you up here in an hour, Sergeant. Stalwart Dawn out. As the radio went silent again, Mac looked over at the two ponies that were now staring at him. Um, what did I just do? Mac now looking confused back at the two ponies. What? Who, who are you talking to? Twilight looked baffled at the device trying to figure out how it worked. Every ODST seemed to be stunned at this statement. You've never seen a radio before? Tyler asked. Um, no. Twilight now feeling stupid as it seemed that the radios were a common place here. Anyway, we should probably introduce ourselves to each other since our initial introductions were, uh, less pleasant. Twilight trying to change the subject. Mac chuckling a bit noticed Twilight's attempt to change the subject, but decided to play along. Well, I'm Mac Cross. I'm the squad leader of these idiots, also the tech expert. The next ODST to introduce herself was Lucy. Lucy Turner. I'm the medic of the crew. I patch up these guys after they get shot, or in your case, Scootaloo, when we shot you. Scootaloo winced a bit at the mention of getting shot, her legs still hurting from the wound. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. You look like a grunt, so we just... Uh, shot you. Wait, well what? You shot Scootaloo? Twilight jumping up and almost losing balance, only for Tyler to catch her and pull her back down to the Warthog. Yeah, we shot her, Twilight. <laughs> there are kind of a lot of aliens out there that want us dead really badly. Better safe than sorry. And we did patch her up afterwards, Lucy added. It's okay, it's okay, Twilight. They they didn't know. All they knew was that we might kill them. Scootaloo surprising everyone in the hog with her stance since she was terrified of them less than 30 minutes ago. What? <sighs> Fine, but this isn't over yet. Twilight relenting. Well, I suppose then it's my turn. Tyler Savage, demolition expert. Need something blown up, then I'm your man. He proudly proclaimed, earning a chuckle from everyone. Twilight now looking at the last ODST who sighed and introduced himself. Andrew Woods, sniper. I'm not exactly part of the squad, but I've got no clue what happened to the rest of mine, so I went along for the ride with Alpha 3 here. We have another honorable member of Alpha 3 that we're going to meet up in just a bit, Mac added. Lucy, what's our ETA on our extraction? Oh, one minute, we're almost there. Lucy reported, stopping the hog in the middle of an open square. Like clockwork, the radio sputtered to life and a female voice could be heard. Alpha 3, this is Starfire. Heard you needed a ride? Moments later, a pelican dropship came flying over the square, landing about 20 meters from the Warthog. Both Scootaloo and Twilight still stunned watching the large metal craft touch down. Oh, come on! That thing can fly! Scootaloo shouted. That's... that's so not fair. If you two want a ride, then I suggest you get in! Mac shouted over the noise of the engine. You still need to meet our pilot! Twilight and Scootaloo glancing at each other before Scootaloo trotted forward. Well, I'm not gonna miss a ride on one of these things. Before going up the ramp and strapping into a seat close to the cockpit so she would have a good view of the upcoming flight. You coming too, Sparkle Butt? Tyler shouted, earning a glare from Twilight before she too stepped into the dropship and strapped in. 
Where are we going? Twilight asked, to which Mac replied, Home. <laughs>